PET scanner. Um, I know some people uh, in this chamber would have a deep interest in the provision of medical services to people in the fight of their life against cancer. And the Northern Territory is the only jurisdiction in the country without a PET scanner. So, so, so what's that, sorry? So that's very funny. Um, a PET scanner is a diagnostic tool, I'll learn you if you want, um, that uses radioactive isotopes to uh, track where the cancer is in the body. So it actually shows doctors, uh, oncologists where the cancer is. And that's really helpful in saving their lives, uh, which we think is really important. But, but the coalition, Promise a PET scanner actually said it's on its way, uh, presumably in a, in a truck going up the Stewart Highway to Darwin, six years ago. The foreign minister, the current foreign slow minister, truck. very slow truck, many breakdowns along the way perhaps. But the current foreign minister stood in the middle of our city over six years ago promising a PET scanner. Now, when you're not in government, obviously you uh, can lobby, but you know, ultimately you can just do your best. But three years this coalition's been in government. There is not even a diagram drawn for what this facility looks like. Now, I've taken the opportunity to go down to the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in, um, in Melbourne and met with perhaps uh, one of the leading nuclear uh, medical professionals in our country, Professor Rod Hicks who gave me a brief on exactly what sort of a facility we need in Darwin to house the PET scanner, um, but not even a diagram for that facility had been produced in three years of coalition government. So we're starting from scratch in Darwin. Uh, we're the only jurisdiction in the country not to have a PET scanner. Territorians with cancer continue to have to fly into the state away from their families uh, to have these scans. Uh, and it's simply not good enough. I have asked what the $15 million will cover. Uh, a PET scanner is about two and a half. Um, we just want to make sure that the coalition is actually committed to providing it this time.